Hi, beautiful divine soul. Thank you for being here, mostly in the moment with me, Mystic Mia Moksha, for another love pick a card reading. We have four piles here with four numbers, four images, and four crystals. Choose a pile that calls out to you. You may choose more than one if you would like. And I have other love pick a card readings if you want more information and you feel divinely guided to do so. I'd like to just take this opportunity to say thank you for all the likes, comments, emoji comments, well wishes and prayers and you know good luck being sent my way. I really really appreciate it. It's very much helping me out. It's this slow climb to uh, the goal that I have for 10,000 subscribers but I can see it every baby step of the way and I very much appreciate this journey and I very much appreciate you being a part of mine and me being a part of yours. So thank you so much. And with that, I hope you enjoy this reading and I wish you much love and light. Hi, Pile 54 with the Lapita Light. Let's see what your person feels and thinks about you in this connection. Okay, Knight of Wands in reverse. Um, I'm, a, I'm feeling like they're afraid to take action, but they're taking action anyway. I feel like this is a case of like, I don't want to take action because I feel I'm going to make a stupid one if I do, but then like accidentally doing something stupid anyway. So like, they're like, oh, you know what? This might, this might have been a problem in their past. Like, they're very self-aware. They're like, I've made this mistake in the past where I didn't think about what I wanted to do and I just did something and then I did something stupid. Like, I don't want to do that again. I don't want to repeat that mistake. And then they go and do it anyway. Yeah, the priestess, high priestess, they're ignoring their intuition, I'm getting. They, um, they're very much ignoring their intuition. Their thoughts and feelings about you. You are seared into my heart. I'm getting, um, it like pains them more that they feel like they're always embarrassing themselves in front of you because like you're the one person that they care the most about looking foolish in front of, you know? So there's, there's a lot of genuine love there for this person, for you. Um, it's just, uh, in their mind, they just can't seem to get a break. Okay, was, so I want to have them on this side and then you on this side. Could be vice versa. Read the energy, how it resonates. Leave the rest. Okay, so you feel it. You're like, okay, I know that they're trying. Um, they, I know what they're trying to do is coming from a place of like love and a lot of heart. And like I can see it. Like they're putting in genuine effort and they genuinely want to give, give me a good impression or you know, um, try to do the right thing for like towards me, but I'm getting, <sighs> like you feel them kind of like falling away and kind of like giving up a little bit because like everything they do almost, like almost everything they say and every action that they take is like a mistake or not the right thing or didn't you know I was allergic to that or <laughs> like, um, didn't I say that to you like multiple times that like I don't do this thing or I don't um like I I have an issue with this from my past or um something like that and it's like it's like you can tell that they genuinely want to try to put their best foot forward and do the right thing by you but they're always constantly like stepping on your foot you know um and on in the opposite way it seems like you're always doing the right thing. So it's really, really incredibly hard for them because it's like, it's like everything you do is almost always right. The right thing to say, the right thing to do, and everything that they do is almost wrong. The wrong thing to say, the wrong thing to do. And it's just like, it sucks because you both kind of like each other and genuinely have feelings for each other. It's just not, it's just not, ugh. It's complicated I'm getting. What does spirit feel like is going on? The two of you. Released who you used to be. 
So I feel like the reason that they're messing up so much and that you're always doing the right thing is because maybe you've always had this, I'm perfect, I always do the right thing, say the right thing, I'm so like classy kind of a vibe about you. So um, maybe they're not messing up, maybe it's just um, you, you know, like it's just because um, I'm not getting like you're out of their league. I'm, I'm hearing that, but it's like, it's not that because it's just that you're from like, not from different worlds either. How do I describe this? Let's see. Five of cups, five of cups, five of pentacles. It's like, they're the only ones who are usually left with like, why did I say that? Why, why did I do that? Um, it feels like they're always messing up and it's just like, it's not because they're actually messing up. Like what they are doing towards you would have worked if you weren't allergic to that thing or if they remember that you were in a fight with your sister or brother or if they remembered, you know, your birthday or, you know, they just, just, just can't remember dates. It's like not part of their fault. They put it in five you know, reminders on their phone and, you know, told their friend to text them as well. And it just never works for them. So it's not like, and they're very sweet and they're very genuine in their feelings for you. But just like, I, it just like, the compatibility is like off. And all the things that you're doing right wouldn't come off right to another person either. It's just, it's difficult. You both like each other. And to you, it's like, why is this a problem? Like, why can't you just get your ish together? I'm doing the right thing, saying the right things. But it's kind of like a matter of circumstances I'm getting. Because, like, you come off like you're always doing the right thing and saying the right thing. And they always come off like they're saying the wrong thing and doing the wrong thing. But it's like, it's not... Like, the, the situation could have been easily reversed. It's not... And so for you, it's like, how hard it can, be, can it be? I'm doing the right thing, saying the right thing all the time. And it's just, I'm getting a, like a situation where like, you always think you're right, or maybe you usually are right, or you're more intuitive or something like that. So like, you're always like on point. And they're kind of in this energy where they always think they're wrong. And they're always doing the wrong thing. So they always think they're wrong, and you always think you're right. So it's not actually like, they're always wrong, and you're always right. It's just like, both of you have a different mental like understanding like you know they might be in a kind of like a insecure place right now and you're in a very secure place and it's like that's why it's like oh the roles could have been easily reversed like they could have been more secure and you could have been more insecure and you're always telling yourself oh I did the wrong thing did the wrong thing and they could have been like oh I'm saying the right thing all the time the right actions when are they going to catch up kind of thing right so it's a matter of like like where you both are individually in your lives, which is affecting the connection. Justice in reverse, yeah. Unfair, unbalanced. And they might take it out on you sometimes being like, you know what? Like, well, if I had this, if I had my job situation figured out or if I had like a family like that or if I, you know, came from that background or if I this and that, it's like, okay, whatever, like, you know, like, so they, so they feel bad, they feel insecure, right, but then they're taking it out on you, and you're just like, what are you talking about, like, I worked for what I do, like, I, I'm confident and secure in myself because of the work I put in, and then it's just kind of, it's, it's gotten messy, and it's like, no one's fault, it's just that, that they're insecure, and you're in a good place, and so you're handling the situation, like, you're handling the connection better, just because of your circumstances. It's not right for them to, like, you know, lash out at you for any reason like that, but um, I'm, I'm getting, like, they're, they are disappointed that you can't see where they're coming from. It's like both of you aren't really understanding that they're not in a good place and you're in a good place, and that's why um, most of your arguments are coming from that, you know? Let's see. So, this connection from your side. The Emperor in reverse. You're like, 
why can't you like why can't you just be like why why can't you just be the partner that I need you to be? Why can't you just I'm getting like why can't you just be why can't you just be a man? Why can't you just be a man? I, that's why I'm getting like whether this is a male or female, it's just like why can't you just like be okay? Why can't you just be like normal? Why can't you just be like why can't you just figure this stuff out for yourself? Like why can't you just be in a good place in life? Like why like it's kind of like so there's like misunderstandings coming from both people. So this is something that you need to really like you know. Take a second and realize that there's there's more going on underneath the surface. Like most of your arguments are based on the fact that one person is not feeling as secure and confident as they want to be, and that the person is, and you know, it is what it is. Knight of Pentacles, because like you might be ready. This person might be like ready to be like, hey, like I'm in a good place. I'm ready to like start the next. Um, chapter or you know take the next step and they're just like freaking out they're like yeah yeah me too me too me too and they're like what if I just fake it until I make it you know that's how most people do it right and so they're like trying to fake it until they make it but then like everything is getting under their skin because like they're not like as confident yet and so this person is like might lash out at you here and there but it's kind of like like read between the lines because it's not like they might say that they're ready but they might not actually be ready and it's kind of like oh sometimes like you know there is no right time you just kind of have to take the take the leap right but like no they actually need to like work on their confidence and it could take like it could take maybe a few weeks to maybe a few years you never know you know so like it depends on the situation so how are they feeling and thinking about you like stop S like stop <laughs> um Wow, I feel like they're incredibly like frustrated and they don't know how to stop you because they're just like go 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 and they're like, yeah, I'm I'm right behind you, yeah, I'm 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 catching up, I'm running as fast as I can. And they're like panting, you know, they're like falling on the floor, they're like dying, I need water, kind of thing. And you're like running ahead, like you're a mile ahead, and you just like left them behind. And they're like, okay, I thought I could keep up with you, but I didn't know you were like a marathon runner, <laughs> you know, like, or you were already there. I thought we were start starting at like the same spot almost. Um, and they're like, yeah, you know, maybe they, they can be a marathon runner or they have been in the past. And so they have the ability to, or they know they, that they can get there, but they didn't realize like how at a different place the two of you were. Um, now isn't the time, yeah. And so I think they're about to tell you this, that, like, oh, yeah, maybe I need to kind of work on some stuff right now because, like, I, apparently, like, I have some, like, I have, I'm not even there yet. <laughs> You're, like, flying ahead of me. I thought I was, but I'm not. Um, I need I need time to pa um, heal from past pain. Um, and this might be emotional, so... confidence confidence and security I feel like they have some some stuff to work on in terms of that and they're kind of feeling bad that they're not like at the same place as you you know it's like not only like do they find someone awesome but then like you're running like far ahead of them and like before they're like okay you know what I'm not in the best place but like whoever is who who, who's ever at the most perfect place to start a connection? So they're like, yeah, let's start with this. And then they're like seeing you run ahead. And they're like, I think I can catch it. I can like run be beside them or just a little bit behind them. I think that'll be okay. And then they're like dying on the street, gasping for air and water. And you're just like flying ahead. And you're not realizing that they need someone to walk, you know, help them out in the first, you know, a few miles or something. So... So they're like, yeah, okay, well, just leave me then. <laughs> like, I need, I, I guess I need to do this stuff on my own, you know. Um, but there's no, like, there's, like, a good understanding here. Okay, what is Spirit saying for you in terms of this um, release who you used to be? New beginnings. Um, so I'm getting from Spirit that, like, you might be see rediscover your zeal 
pay attention to the passion you are feeling for discovery, learning, exploration, spirituality, travel, your work, or your relationship. Passion and desire go together, especially as inspirations. Like, like there's a reason that you're not slowing down and waiting for them. There's a reason that you're running ahead. And it's because you're, you're, you have the energy to do so. And so it's kind of like, if you're not going to walk with this person and run with this person, then, you know, let them go. Let them do what they need to do. Because there's a reason you have so much energy. And there's a reason why you're so, like, why you want to move ahead so quickly and so fast. Okay. I act happy, but I'm not. So it's kind of like, you might be even faking it, too. Because it's like, probably you, probably guys are marrying each other. It's like, you're probably faking it too, like you want to be with this person, um, and that you want to slow down and catch up, like, you know, let them catch up, and it's like, um, you know, maybe there's a reason that Spirit's telling you to kind of, um, reevaluate this connection. Okay, last but not least, Spirit's advice for this connection, Page of Cups, a new journey, and self-expression is beginning. This could be come in the form of creative spark, an intuitive download, or divine inspiration that allows you to be open to receiving and communicating emotions and ideas. You or someone you're connected to might be exhibiting emotional, immature behavior. Take a moment to reflect on the situation and try to see beyond what's being presented. Yeah, I think that's that's the key moment here. The key takeaway here is that like, they might be acting immaturely. You might be acting immaturely. And both of you might not even be immature people. Like, the queen is here. You know? The emperor, the, the high priestess. Like, there's, there's like, like, both of you might not be emotionally immature people normally. But, like, there's something about this, this, this connection that's off. And that's why it might be rubbing either of you or both of you the wrong way. And it's kind of like take a stop, stop and like check in and like see, figure out what's actually going on here on a deeper level. All right. And so hi, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you resonated, please leave a comment or a like. Um, even an emoji really, really helps. I've been asking people to send like weird emojis that don't get used often um, that, that you like <laughs> because I like using them. <laughs> for my um time stamps in my descriptions so yeah um with that i hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and i wish you much love and light hi pile number 34 with the pyrite let's see how your person is feeling and thinking about you what's going on in this connection okay so first of all the page of wands came out in hand in reverse so this is my indication that if a card comes out in hand for me that they're keeping this close to their chest and they might not be telling you but they um they might have said something about along the lines of like yeah I kind of want to see how this goes or you know I kind of want to keep this casual but they really don't <laughs> they're not going to tell you but they kind of don't care for a casual thing they don't care to see anyone else they kind of know that they want to see you nine of swords yeah but they they aren't telling you this um and they're not sure why they're not telling you this either. They're like, yeah, it's like, okay, like, yeah, I might not want to see other people, but, like, why am I not telling, like, that's something that they would want to know. Why am I not telling them? Um, they're afraid that if they tell you that they're not interested in seeing other people or, um, you know, they're kind of looking for a more serious connection. Not, like, immediately, but, like, they want to date with the intention of, you know, some long-term commitment. Um, that they would end in heartbreak. That if they tell you that they would be sad. Why? I've been through this before, I'm, I'm hearing. I've been through this before. I told someone that I'm more, I'm interested in something more serious. And then they kind of, um, stopped caring as much or something. 
I broke it off with me. I'm getting like, I didn't play the great game right. I didn't pay, uh, play the game right. Um, so they're worried that like, you seem like the person who's like very down to earth and wouldn't let something like someone knowing that you, that they're interested in you, um, I turn you off. I don't know, something about the, like everyone says they don't play the game, but they do. I'm getting um, our fate is to create an unforgettable story. Yeah, so they're very, like, they're very sure. They're like, oh, this might be the one. I know we're destined to be together, whether it's for, like, I'm getting, like, they know that you, you two are meant to be together for a long period of time, whether it's forever or just a long period of time. But they know. They're like, I know that we're meant to be together. Um, okay, let's see what your part of this connection is. It's, this is going to be them. It's going to be you. It could be vice versa. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, the Emperor in reverse and came out in hand again. You're not telling them something either. You don't think you're the one for them either. What? Or that they're not the one for you. Interesting. Oh, so they think you're the one and they're not telling you. You think they're not the one and you're not telling them. <gasps> what is this? And so you have like an exit strategy already. You're like, okay, like, you know, this is cool. We met, we like each other, but I don't think there's anything there. I'm just going to quietly exit stage left. Um, oh my goodness. What a spirit. Explore. You're getting a hard intuition to kind of like, you know, keep your choices open. That's probably why, because like, that's probably why they're not telling you because they they think they'll scare you away because you're kind of, you might be being, you might be giving off the vibes of like, oh yeah, I'm just, you know, looking for something casual or I, you know, I'm just kind of, I'm just getting back into the dating scene or I'm just kind of like, you know, I'm not really interested in anything or anyone right now. I'm just kind of, you know, taking some time out for myself. And so they have a, a strong feeling that you don't think that they might be a contender. So they're kind of like, okay, well, I can't tell them that I think they're the one. <laughs> from day one so like let's like let's ease off of this for a bit okay so how are they feeling anything about you okay page of pen pentacles um and the seven of wands okay they want to like they want to offer you something like a date or like you know hanging out coffee maybe even hanging out with other people um, like a group date kind of thing or just like you know invite you to an event and like kind of keep it casual but they're so deathly afraid that you're gonna put your guard up because you're like um, like deny them before they think that anything is going on here kind of feeling so I feel like they're kind of oh my gosh six of cups how cute um, they want to buy you flowers <laughs> um they want to ask you on a date. But they're nervous. Um, they're apprehensive about it because they feel like that you're going to um, give them 21 excuses, you know. they're gonna, You're going to give them every excuse in the book. Maybe you already have. <laughs> Maybe you already gave them one excuse not to hang with them. Okay, so what's going on from your... Oh, let's see going on from your end this connection page of swords i mean both of you i'm not like not for nothing both of you are kind of like um i don't know <laughs> like you know like being it kind of not asking straight up i think you might have even been like oh i want to give you a chance if you kind of just like came up to me directly you know because it kind of would have shown that you have a lot of like courage but um because this person man or woman are beating around the bush um you're kind of like you're playing off their energy and you're trying to be like coy and shy like and playing dumb i'm getting like you don't know that they they like you that much um explore see how it hits the card explore 
Um, eight of Cups, again, Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups. Um, you're, you're like inching towards the door, but you're not there yet. Like, it's like, it's like you're inching towards the door, but you're all the way on the other side of the room of where the door is. So you're just, you're just like, yeah, like, can't wait to get out of here. But like, you know, um, it's a long way towards the door before you can leave the room. Um, <laughs> So you're just like, you know, trying to have small talk and you're like, yeah, 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 that's cool. You know, you're not trying to be mean, but you're trying to like hint to them and kind of show that you're like trying to leave. <laughs> and so it's like, it's like an awkward situation kind of building. So how are they feeling and thinking about you? Movement. They're like, yeah, things are going so well. You know, we're talking so much. Like they're like, I'm going to like, wear them down they're gonna they're gonna be mine like yeah i just have to keep this up <laughs> like things are gonna go well for me you make me want to do bad things like oh like my flirt they're like they're like thinking like oh my flirtation techniques are working on them like they're so digging me right now they're like they so love me right now um okay let's see I believe in a happily ever after because of you oh no oh no your love is like, intoxicating okay so it's it's, it's um oh it's a tough situation because it's like they're 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 kind of in love with you they're really in love with you they're daydreaming like crazy. They're like, oh, that's the one. Things are going so well. Like, I'm going to make them mine. Uh, and you're over here like, oh, where's the door? Um, let's see. How, how are you feeling towards them? <laughs> Fear. <laughs> you're like, am I going to make it to the door? What if they do, like, chain me down because it took me so long to get to the door? Um, creativity it's like this fear is making you be so creative in like your excuses you're like wow like I should write a book I did not know I could think of this many ways to kind of block somebody like and, and <laughs> they're picking it up in the wrong way they're like oh, they're, they're giving me so much love over here and you're like I'm 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 working magic over here I am I'm creating concocting some sort of witchcraft over here with the amount of like beautiful creative excuses i'm coming up over here oh my goodness okay i want a spirit feel what's going on for you love the funny thing is <laughs> you might be like Okay, so creativity is linked to intuition. Creativity and intuition is divine energy that you're downloading from the higher realms, right? So the reason you're being so creative, the reason you might be fighting this person so much is because deep down you might actually like them a lot. Because <laughs> um, there's even a, a bit of doubt that came up. Like, oh my goodness, if I, if I keep this person around, they might actually lock me down. Because <laughs> you know. Um, deep, deep, deep down, <laughs> deep, deep down there somewhere. Um, if you go exploring, you might find it. Um, this, this person, uh, you know, ha there's something about this person, you know. <laughs> this is like, this is a very like cute, me cute kind of funny story. Okay, anything else the spirit wants to do? say about this connection for you? Total submersion. Don't be afraid to totally immerse yourself in a project, interest, or goal. Give it a hundred percent of your energy, and you may find that your life, you might find what your life has been lacking. So, spirits like, give it a chance. Like, you know, like give it your all. See, like you know, because there's a reason you're like, like you can run towards that door, but you're choosing to inch towards that door. There's a reason you're taking your time to go towards that door. You know, um, secretly a little bit. You know, you know, deep down somewhere, you actually might be interested in this person and, you know, you kind of do want to see <laughs> if there's something here. Um, 
if there's something more. Yeah. All right. Um, and then last but not least, great advice for you. Hit the Eight of Cups. It's like, if you want to leave, leave. But if you don't, don't have one foot out the door. Come in, grab yourself a chair, grab yourself a coffee or a tea, sit down, have a conversation. Don't have a conversation at the, um, what's it called? At the doorway. I think it's bad luck to like stand near on, um, like stand near the doorway for a long period of time. So, like if you're gonna have a conversation, come in and sit down. If you don't want it, like close the door behind you and leave, but don't have the conversation at the doorway. That's what I'm getting for spirit. Um, strength. You face challenges that have tested your inner strength before. Rising from the ashes, what you thought would destroy you. Your courage, perseverance, and resilience knows no bounds. Now is the time to trust in your ability to overcome. Your, your, your egoic mind might be spinning stories of anger, grief, or doubt. Tame the ego by remembering you are the master of your thoughts and emotions. So I feel like there was an issue in the past where you might have um, <laughs> entered a relationship of convenience. Like you didn't really want to date that person, but you kind of got stuck. It could, it could be a job. It could be, you know, something else. You got suckered into something. You're like, oh, like I, I can't. I can't just like get suckered into a, a relationship or a job or something like that just because I'm so kind and just because like don't like have faith in yourself. You will overcome these challenges that you've had in the past. Like, you know, have faith that like if you don't like this person or if you find that you two aren't compatible and you don't want anything more, that you can cut it off and you'll be fine. Have faith that you can explore a connection that you're interested in, even just a little bit. And that you won't get suckered into a relationship you don't want to be in. All right? So I hope you enjoyed that reading. If it resonated, please leave me a like or comment. I really appreciate it as a small channel. It goes a long, long, long way. And um, yeah, I it, it means a lot. It means so, so much. And I send good vibes to everyone who sends me um, a little bit of little light towards me. So I appreciate it very much. And I'm like zero point karma which means my my good luck go comes in immediately all right um just saying <laughs> anyway i uh, hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and i wish you much love and light hi pound number 66 with the hematite let's see how your person is feeling and thinking about you okay immediately um i'm getting like they're being a little bit too friendly towards me, but they're, like, taking it in well. I don't know. I, I feel like they think that you're being a little bit too friendly. And they're like, I'm not sure why, but I like it. I, I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. Maybe you're being, like, a little bit more complimentary towards them, more kind, more, um, you know, giving them support, encouragement or something, and they don't understand why, but they're like, I'll take it. Because they're not making any moves towards you. So they're like, I don't understand why they're being so nice to me when I'm not making any effort towards them right now. Are they feeling and thinking about you? Um, our, pa our paths and lives are aligned, but it came out reversed. So I'm getting that... Um, They're not saying anything about the two of you coming together. You know, they're not giving you any hints that, you know, they might ask you out or they might connect with you again or that, like, you that they see a potential future with you or they, they say the, they see the next step happening. They're not saying anything of that sort. They're, so they're, like, really suspicious of, like, why you might be um, being nice to them. Let's see. Why are you being nice to them? So um, this side is going to be them. This side is going to be you. You can see the energy says vice versa. Take it how it resonates. Leave the rest. Okay. You are you are pushing for those things. You are pushing for like, hey, so like, you know, what, are you, what do you see as, as going? When will you be available? That kind of stuff. Like, what, what do you feel like is the next step? Because you're like, let's go, let's go, let's go. I have things going on in my life. I need to um, figure out the next things. Like, I feel like you might feel like there's a lot of big, like, new 
beginnings happening for you and there's been a lot of big endings that happened for you recently as well or you're in the process of endings and big endings and big beginnings so you're kind of like you might be kind of pushing this person to uh, find out what's going on in the connection because you want the security the stability and um the calmness that comes from knowing what the next steps look like what this next cycle looks like for you so i feel like you're kind of scrambling right now like i feel like your mind body and spirit is like scrambling to hold on to something that might give you an indication of what this next cycle will look like and a very big part of it is this person and so if they can give you some answers you might feel more calm more safe more secure knowing somewhat what this new cycle will look like so that's kind of the reason spirit is saying that you may be pushing them to kind of give you something about what's happening in this connection next be a service to others spirit's like you know forget about this person you need to focus on bigger things um that might be not the most fun thing to hear right now but um spirit's very very clear on that that message you are focusing your long-term visions on the wrong thing um you're looking at this person they're looking somewhere else focus back on the bigger desires you have so you have you know um your human desires your ego desires your your survival modes to survive um desires might be like figure out what this future looks like or you're gonna go insane but your higher self your highest light and your your spirit your soul is asking you to kind of look deeper and be like what are your higher desires in life and focus on that right now and everything else will fall in place okay so what are they thinking and feeling about you what are they thinking and feeling about you nine of wands that came out in hand which is my indication that they're not going to tell you this but they've been working on something they've been working on something behind the scenes knight of wands knight of wands again in reverse they're much they're much further behind in taking action in this connection than you might think okay can we get some clarification they might be more further behind than you think why uh status status title ne legacy network okay so i do feel like um to um they have been working on something outside of this connection that's been their main focus that's what they mean to focus on right now okay what does spirits say about this knight of pentacles this could and most likely lead to them coming to you but they are working on something else outside of this connection it, it is for building a connection in the future um but they're so very very close at achieving this um what is spirit saying for you magician in hand um you are manifesting this so whatever inner work you've been doing to kind of coax this connection along um has been right i mean you got the you got the intuitive ping to kind of give them love support encouragement and friendliness even though they're not giving you anything and that might sound counterintuitive to some people it's like why am i giving them energy when they're not giving me anything but your intuition says to do this and you did it um and that is affecting them that has manifested them coming to you in the future it just might not be now because right now they're focusing on something else they're almost done with that though they're almost done with that okay so how do they feel and think about you illumination 
they're not completely aware space of this connection yet like you are you might be very well aware of what's going on in this connection where they are where you are what hap- needs to happen the steps that are going to look like in between um they're just like i don't they don't they don't see it yet you can see like they don't see that your that your paths and lives are aligned they just need some space to figure out their own thing but you, we did see that they're gonna come to you most likely for most people in this group they're gonna come to you in the near future they don't know that your paths and lives are aligned yet you do that's why spirit's like you need to give the space and kind of focus on your other you know projects in life your other goals in life because you already know what's going to happen with this connection you just have to allow it to happen um and like you know it's kind of like looking at the clock waiting for the minute hand the hour hand to move it's like it's not going to go faster if you keep looking at them so focus on something else i'll make it go much faster at the time because you already know what's going to happen and they don't yet so like wait until they they know um okay how are they feeling and thinking about you um you hurt me with this okay i guess your family won't like me and and so like right now pushing pushing them i think you realize that like pushing them is only going to hurt them and they need to come to this on their own even though you can see the future and they can't okay so allow them to come to you how they deeply feel about you you've expanded my happiness you're my lighthouse guiding me to shore see see like you definitely made them happier you you make them like happy you give them love and support they enjoy your company and you are guiding them you are guiding them to take the right steps to come to you within a, in a more stable and secure way um but they will come to it come to the realization in their own time but it, it won't take them long they're oh, they're almost there they're, they're basically they're in the last step later literally i'm going to a few to several months max okay um what's going on you what does spirit have to say about what's going on for you how do you feel about this connection okay this is just like ping ponged around okay trust trust because you already know like your 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 intuition is very strong you already know this person's like and you have like a serious uh, future together uh, so it's just kind of like you know let go and let god just let it happen happening in this connection for you spirit guide their 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 higher self is literally guiding them to you you know this too you know it intuitively you know from the signs just let them come to you just let it happen spirit's advice for you enjoy the journey stay present and flexible many changes are going on for you and around you these changes are not only good but necessary Bring your awareness into the now rather than focusing on the past or the future. Yeah, see? Spirit's like, if you keep looking at the clock, it's not going to go faster. It's just going to make think time like seem slower. So Spirit's like really asking you to kind of um, change your focus for a bit on something else. Because you already know this is going to happen. And they might not know yet, but when it clicks for them, they're ready. They're coming to you. Ready, you know? And they're in the last steps. I want to pull one more clarifier because I'm like, I want to know what this is. The devil. Okay, so they're releasing some sort of um negative energy what is this negative energy related to or is it something general um i'm getting sharing home and children <laughs> so it might be um sharing a home with a family or with um children so i think they they, they just have i think they might have some they might have lived with someone before 
a, a partner or, um, you know, their, their last family or their last marriage or something like that. Or maybe they had a really bad upbringing, really bad um, situation with their own family growing up. And they have very, very big trauma around that. So that's the last, they're in the last leg of it. They're in the literally step 10. Step 10 out of 10. They're there. They basically have one more step left to come to you. So that's, that's the only thing. That's the only, only thing that's, that's keeping this connection apart. And it's, I'm getting, you know, several mo- months max. It might be sooner for some of you, a few months, two months, who knows. But like, it's, it's not that far away. Okay, and last but not least, Spirit's advice for you. The full card, the beginning of new journeys upon you. But you carry with you all the experiences and lessons of your past. Don't be afraid. As you venture into the unknown, this leap of faith, the testament to the courage you've always held within. You see your, the world card, the full card? Um, consider the big picture of your journey before, before you as you prepare for change. Don't let fear hold you back. Yeah, you have this one fear that's holding you back and that's the fear of not knowing what this new life is going to look like and how long it's going to take and what, you know, because that, that, that's a security blanket for a lot of people. Knowing the steps, knowing the person knowing what the future looks like so if you can let, let, let go let go of that fear it's here you already have it all right so i hope you enjoy that reading if it resonated i really appreciate a like a comment it really really helps out a small channel like mine thank you so much for all of those that have been liking and commenting i mean i can't tell you like i'm getting moved to tears here Whew, uh how grateful i am i'm very very grateful thank you so much I love what I do. I love working with the divine and I love working with others that also work with um, others in this way. So thank you. And um, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I wish you much love and light. Hi, Pile82 with the Amethyst. Let's see how your person is thinking. Okay. All right. uh, They are very excited by you. (laughs) They are very, very happy. They're, they are incredibly happy with this connection. Um, they feel like every day just gets better and better with you. Um, makes them very excited. Um, I'm getting like they can clearly see where things are going. Or they're getting more and more clarity as each day passes, I'm getting. And it makes them excited. Your, your touch ignites a sun within me. Okay, so the sun came out in reverse and this card also came out in reverse. So I feel like, um, I feel like there hasn't been much physical intimacy lately or hasn't, or this might be a new thing and there hasn't been much physical intimacy at all. Um, or you're just both not really touchy feely people, or maybe you're just a little bit so nervous around the other person that like you, you're afraid to kind of, you know, put your hand on their shoulder or give them a hug or a kiss or something like that. So, so there's a little bit of, um, feeling, um, kind of nervous around the other person physically. Okay. So let's see what's going on. So this is going to be their side. It's going to be your side. You can, you can, the energies can be vice versa and, um, takes what resonates and leave the rest. I see the nine of pentacles. I'm oh, sorry the nine of cups here i said pentacle so i do feel like something is manifesting for you a wish being granted in the physical for you soon oh my gosh are you kidding you saw me shuffle it you saw me shuffle it yeah okay this is a message spirit needed to come out and needed me to expand upon so there is a wish being granted for you in the physical i'm getting this is something you've wanted waited for forgot about um it's been that it's been that kind of journey like where you wanted this you didn't get it you were sad about it and then you moved on with your life and now you're getting it so however that resonates let me see from spirit is this an old friend okay so it might be an actual old friend i got soul family and friends so I guess, like, you know, someone who is really near and dear to you. It could be this person. It could be a new person. But I'm just, I'm getting, like, someone. This is someone. This could be someone new. This is going to be someone you've already met. Um, it could be a past life thing. Uh, definitely a soul family, a friend. So it could be this person. It could be someone else. But I feel like... Um, 
you're getting back an old friend that's that's the important thing here it's related to this connection hold on let me see how in a second you're stronger than you feel in this very moment so i feel like this person is going to come back and show you your strength um i feel like you might have um forgotten how powerful you are what a beautiful divine soul and spirit you are and how you can manifest things like crazy i think you might have forgotten the power of the divine and you need that for this connection i'm getting from spirit you're being reminded of your own divinity you forgot it for a second you dropped it your friend's coming up to pick it up and give it back to you so this is a really good vibe i'm getting so this friend is coming back to show you what a beautiful manifester you are what a beautiful divine energy you are how strong you are and how you can manifest a very beautiful romantic connection and life in general this friend is coming back to show you how much you've changed how much you've grown how much you're stronger now how much you've manifested in your life already this is the strength you need the spiritual strength the inner strength to take on this person right now all right um let's see what are they thinking and feeling about you right now ten of pentacles yeah raining it's gonna rain some happiness rain some money they feel like it they feel like it's raining money on them right now like it's raining money and prosperity and success and abundance and happiness Uh, they're kind of in amazement, I'm getting. Amazement. Seven of Swords. In reverse, they feel like you're the most, okay, the most honest person I've ever met in my life. Hands down. Wow. So I'm getting, like, you're getting a friend who's going to mimic their energy, like how they feel about you. You're going to get a friend new or old you know they're soul family so they're they're best friends with you on the other side um that reminds you of how awesome you are you're a genuine person you're loyal you're honest you know you're a hard worker you've worked on yourself you have all these other qualities that most people don't see this person sees it this friend is reminding you of those qualities let it rain <laughs> i'm getting um, something about that they're bringing in happiness and a lot of abundance and prosperity and success and you, you they, this friend is coming into your life so you allow this person in so you allow this happiness and abundance into your life um because there's a there's a fear that you might not accept it because you don't feel as strong strongly about your your power at this time so you're getting a friend to come in. The divine is bringing in a friend to remind you of your power, your strength, your courage, and your awesomeness. Because this person is bringing in happiness and abundance for you, with you. And spirit doesn't want you to kind of deny it, forget about it, um, reject it by accident. Um, okay, let's see what spirit has to say. where you are in this connection king of cups in your heart of heart you know in your heart of hearts you know you have a lot of love for this person this person is the right person for you you've worked really hard to manifest this person or manifest a person like this into your life you know um nine of swords um i'm getting like you but you need to hear it you need to hear it from someone you trust that like this is you you are where you wanted to be you are who you want you wanted to become and this is the love of your life that you've manifested that you've talked about before you even met them okay you just needed a reminder um how do they feel and think about you peace and it fell on the king of cups this this person is very at peace 
um, with his connection with you knowing that they're getting more clarity by the day, by the hour I'm getting, by the second, about this connection and its possibilities and its future. How are they feeling and thinking about you? I sometimes wonder if you care, but it came out in reverse. I feel like um, they know how much you care. You're, you're kind of cups energy here. They know. You've told them. They feel it from you. They see it from you. Um, they see it from the divine. They see like the weird, crazy things that happen between the two of you. They, they, they don't think, they don't question for a minute that you care about them. That's why they're so much at peace. They're so much at peace. How do they feel and think about you? I don't feel worthy of you and it like stabbed me in my heart as I was flipping out. Um, actually, my higher heart chakra. Um, I feel like they're 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 feeling from their from their divine self, from their higher self that you don't think you're worthy of this connection, of this happiness, of this abundance and success and prosperity and beautiful future and emotional fulfillment. They think that you don't feel worthy of it. You might act like you do. You might say things that like make you seem like you feel good about this connection, but deep down they know, oh, they know that their higher self is telling them this person doesn't feel worthy. You know what they did? They prayed for you. They prayed that you will accept this happiness and abundance and prosperity and this beautiful divine connection into your heart. They sent this friend to you to remind you. When is this friend coming in for you? <gasps> Within days. Within days days all right so keep an eye out for that you know sometimes i do these tarot card readings and it's just like it seems like very dramatic right um and then when it happens in real life people are like oh that was it it's like yeah <laughs> like it's i know like um when you're watching tarot or like listening to tarot reading like you get so swept up in the emotion the drama of it all that like when it actually happens in real life, you're like, oh, really? I thought it was going to be more dramatic than that. I was like, no, life is way more casual than how it looks on the etheric realm and the divine realms. And uh, they're, they, in, back up there or in, in the divine realm, it's like very much all pure love and light. So it's just like very overwhelming, the emotions. And so channeling it like it's very dramatic and like if we lived more heart-centered we'd probably be more amazed when these things happen but we're so unfazed with our um more masculine um society right now that we forget how beautiful these moments are and so when they do happen we're just like oh that was it <laughs> but yeah you'll you'll see okay so how do you feel and think about them too many cards you do have a lot of emotions about them but it's like going like it's crazy it's like chaotic because you don't um you don't know how to make heads or tails of it you know it's, it's a part of you is like oh i know they're here and another part of you is like i don't i don't know how to accept it surrender you don't know how to surrender to it. <gasps> I don't know. For like over a decade of spiritual work I've been doing. How to surrender. Let's see if spirit has a. Connect with your spirit animal. Um. I'm getting like align, align your, your physical being, your spiritual being. Cause like, you know, your spirit being has its own like desires, um, 
and goals for your life, right? And then your human self has its own desires and goals for itself, right? Connect the two. Connect the two. And real and make both of them realize that you both want this. It's good for both both aspects of yourself, the physical aspect and the spiritual aspect of yourself. You should prove it to yourself. Show it to yourself that this is the best for you, highest and best for you physically and spiritually. Okay. So what else is going on in this connection? Willpower. So it's like you had the willpower to get here. Do you know what you've done to get here? And now you think you don't deserve it? You don't know how to accept it? You don't know how to surrender to it? You don't know how to let it in? No, 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 no. My sweet baby girl, my sweet baby boy, you gotta, you have to, you have to do this one last inner work, okay? And everything's gonna be all right. Those aren't my words. I don't speak like that. Um... Wow. Okay, let's see what else Spirit has to say. Um, replacing what was lost. You now have the opportunity to rejuvenate and start anew. Create a new perspective or outlook. This card may also indicate abundance is on the horizon. I told you. This is... you. Okay, so you know like how you might have grown up with a lack mentality? Like... I don't have enough money. I don't have the, like, you know, I didn't grow up with the right encouraging and loving people. I didn't grow up with the right opportunities. I didn't grow up with, like, the right love in my life or, you know, the right friends or the right romantic partners or the right experiences or something like that. Change it. This is the time to do it. You deserve this hugely loving connection divine connection that is your divine counterpart your perfect match where you will create a beautiful life together achieve both of your individual mutual goals together you don't have to live in that lack anymore isn't that crazy you don't have to live in that lack anymore it's a beautiful future you have in front of you accept it internalize it visualize it know it and most importantly, believe it. Um, let's see. Last card. Five of Wands. There's conflict or competition being experienced in your outer world. You may be feeling challenged or opposed by others. This is a, an experience that is ripe for learning and growing and growth. Take a step back from the drama that's been woven and look at the situation from a higher perspective. What is contributing to the conflict and how might you be shi how might you shift the energy in your outer world by shifting the energy within yourself? Okay. So I'm getting that like one one of the reasons that you might have like, a huge struggle in um, receiving this is pe because people around you, people that you love, people you've seen all your life in your neighborhood, in your hometown, and wherever may not be. Um, receiving this amount of abundance as you are but it's because you know you've done the work this is your life path this is what you've done to get here what you've done to achieve this kind of love and abundance and um divine prosperity and success and all that in the physical and spiritually so that might be also a part of um you not accepting these energies as well so i would take out a, a pen and piece of paper a notebook a journal and do these couple of um, inner work, which is one, connecting your physical desire and your spiritual desires and merging them into one. And then second, um, writing down like, how you see yourself using this divine energy, this divine power and this divine abundance that's being bestowed upon you because you deserve it, because you worked for it, and because um, you've connected to the divine. That's, that's, that's no strong, uh, that's no um, meager accomplishment. That's a huge one. I want to pull one more card. I want, yeah, see, abundance coming to you, ten of, um, you just don't know how. Um, you're not meant to know how. 
it's just coming to you. The only inner work that you have to do. Um, what's spirit? I'm, I'm going to pull one of these more extra super spiritual cards that I only really use on my other channel. Um, because it's super spiritual. Get grounded. Empaths. Highly sensitive. Connect with nature. Connect with nature. I'm getting like you'll know what kind of inner work to do. Just go walk in the woods or something. Walk on a trail. Go walk around the the um, the neighborhood. You'll you'll just get out into nature and you will find the inner work that you need to complete in order to accept this new life, new abundance, new happiness. This new life. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, I really appreciate a like or comment. Um, and let me know if you like this more highly spiritual content or if you want me to go back into the more earthly, physical plane. But honestly, even if I try, I was going to come out spiritual anyway. So, but I'd like to know, um, you know, the viewers that are watching, especially the new ones, the old ones, the OGs, I know, I know, you know, we know that we're on the same page. We're like the high vibe and tribe. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I wish you much love and light.